Please help me welcome back to the stage the film's director, Lisa Dapolito, and stars Mallory Lewis and Lanchop. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for that film. You know, as a screener for the festival, we see a lot of great films, but they're often about you know, Boko Haram and climate change. So getting one about Sherry and Lamb Chop was a real joy. So thank you for that beautiful film. Uh, thank you for having us. You're welcome. Um, so Lamb Chop and Mallory, what, what, would you, what do you think your mom, Mallory, what do you think your mom would like uh, the next generation of children to know about your mom? Um, mostly, mostly this film was about me. No, it actually wasn't. It was about Cousin Eli. Um, <laughs> Herwitz family joke. Um, I, you know, I think Mom would have not cared as much about them knowing something about her, but her message of excellence. Mm -hmm. And Mom was not someone who said, um, oh, you're just fine just the way you are. If you weren't trying your hardest, you were not just fine. In fact, you were disappointing her. Um, but before I answer the rest of that question, I have to thank some people. Um, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, obviously it takes a city, as you could tell from the credits that never end, to um, make a movie. And the Hurwitz family and so many people who are a part of Sharyland have made this possible. Four women in particular. First of all, of course, I want to thank our director, Lisa Doppelingo. No, Doppelito. <laughs> Doppelito. Lisa Doppelganger. No, no, Dop, Dop, Doppelito. Doppelito, whatever. <laughs> um, and also, we want to thank, I want to do it. Okay. I want to thank the fiercest, toughest, most loyal, hardest working member of my family, who also happens to manage the estate. I want to thank Adrian Crane Ross, because I love you. I want to thank my aunts, both my present Aunt Barbara and my past Aunt Judy, because they both stepped in the moment my mom passed away. But most of all, I want to thank my mommy, who was a wonderful mom and has left me a wonderful legacy. May her memory continue to be a blessing. So this is for all of you. Did it take a very long time to make the documentary? <laughs> well, as you can see from the credits, how many people helped and I mean Sherry had a 60-year career so there was a lot to go through um I don't know it, it seemed like forever but <laughs> it, but not really I mean to be able to spend time with Sherry and her performances well, spending and, time with and spending time with Mallory <laughs> and, my, and my new family out there who has treated me you know I'm the same we're all the same size yeah. right um, <laughs> But thank you. Yeah, it, it, took, it took a while. Mm -hmm. But archival films just do take a while because you really have to discover the story and, and find all the material, which is, is, is a lot. Mm -hmm. Lisa did an amazing job of, oh, as long as I can move my lips, I can project. <laughs> um, Lisa, Lisa did an amazing job of seeing my mom as a complex woman and portraying her as a complex woman. Um, as Megan is in the front, like nodding. You know, as, as a woman in any business, but particularly an industry that values youth and beauty above all else, Megan, you're fine. Um, <laughs> so having both of those, it is, um, it, it was a long, tough road for mom and Lisa really, I thought portrayed her beautifully and accurately. I agree. This question is for Lamb Chop. 
Um, do you keep in touch with Hush Puppy and Charlie Horse, and are they sad that they weren't able to come today? Well, actually, they do. Um, we all live together, and, you know, Mallory keeps us in the barn. No, I, I don't. I keep you in the shoe closet. Um, uh, but Charlie and Hush were very disappointed that they, that they couldn't come. They go, do go on tour with me. And Hush Puppy just wanted you, Mary Lou, to know, oh, I love you, darling. You're my favorite. Because <laughs> Mary Lou's favorite was Hush Puppy. Um, and, and Lamb Chop, your, your um, other mom, Sherry had so many talents. Do you think if she hadn't been a ventriloquist, um, like what do you think she would have been? I think she would have negotiated peace in the Middle East and we wouldn't be in this mess. <laughs> that would have been lovely. I think she could have done it. Or caused more trouble, one of the two. And if she had to, if she were to come back today and look at the current state of children's television, what do you think she would approve of or improve on? I know exactly what she would say. She would say, Adrian, I want a TV show. Get one for Lamb Chop. <laughs> um, you know, t children's TV, I mean, there's wonderful shows. Like Sesame Street continues to be absolutely wonderful. And honestly, I don't watch children's TV because my son's 25. Um, so I don't even know who I would criticize. But you know, the reason mom testified in front of Congress, or I think it was Congress, was because TV went from being entertaining and educational. Mom created the term edutainment, or at any rate took credit for it, um, to being a half hour long commercial for the Power Rangers. So we really have to do better by our children. Um, our schools are not capable right now, for any variety of reasons, to offer enough, and our television really should. Can I add something? What is really, what, what is great now is YouTube, because there are a lot of people who are introducing their children to um, Lamb Chop's Play Along and to Sherry's show. So we're starting to find that there's a whole new audience that um, their parents are showing them hey, this is a great show that I watched as a kid. So I think for YouTube, that's pretty good. And TikTok, where Lamb Chop has 70,000 followers. Just thought I'd mention that. At your fave, Lamb Chop. Follow along for more. Lamb Chop, I think you're the most famous sheep ever. Thank you. I think you're beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Ditto, Lamb Chop. Um, so... You know, I grew up, obviously, I'm a Lamb Chop fan, but I learned so much about uh, Sherry Lewis in the film, and you, you learn a lot when you're making a, a feature film. So what were you most surprised to learn about her? Well, I didn't know her enormous talent. I didn't know she could sing and dance. And I think what we found in the edit with our amazing editor, Andrea, um, is that Sherry... <laughs> Sherry did use the puppets to say things she couldn't say, whether in her personal life or in her professional life. And I thought that was pretty brave of her. And it was sort of like a little secret that you could watch something like when she talks about divorce, like you wouldn't ever think Sherry Lewis would be talking to a puppet about divorce, but that's at the same time she's having a divorce with her husband, you know, problems with her husband. So I think that was surprising to me that, you know, Sherry was always in charge of her story. Yes. She was never going to say, oh, hey, Sherry Lewis is too old. She's going to say, you know, make a joke of it with Lamb Chop. Like, she's always, so I thought that was pretty cool of her. Mm -hmm. and, and Lamb Chop, who, who are your favorite other puppet fans? Your other, like, who are you a fan of? Do you hang out with Elmo or Big Bird? Do you have a crush on Oscar? Like, who are your, who are your people? Mallory doesn't let me play with other puppets. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she, she keeps me very well protected. But it's okay, because I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't aged a day in that film. <laughs> I'd like to know what kind of hand cream, or lamb cream you she use. Has, <laughs> she, has a, she has a very good seamstress. <laughs> I'm going to open it up to questions for Lisa or Mallory or Lamb Chop. Everybody you knows said everybody knows this is your whole... Uh, <laughs> nobody has a question for Lamb Chop? No? 
Yes, Adrian. <laughs> yes, darling. I thought it was amazing. I thought that I was really good, um, and I, I'm still really good. How about something a little deeper than that? It was, it was very special watching that final footage, the old yellowy footage. Um, it made me a little sad, but then it made me happy because you're all here, and that's how much people love Shari. I mean, mostly me, but. <laughs> so uh, it made me very happy. Any? Hi. Well, I'm actually only three years younger than mom was when she died, which is kind of a weird place to be when you approach, I see everyone of a certain age in the audience nodding, when you approach uh, the time that your parents passed, because it's hard to, I can imagine what my life should be like up to there because I watched my mom. Um, I, I always knew she was the hardest working person on the planet. I don't think I appreciated how her consistency, she didn't just work hard, she always worked hard. She never, she would say the day begins the night before. So if you have a show the next day, don't drink a, even a glass of wine the night before. She would say every, as she said, every beautifully turned moment is a rehearsal for the next beautifully turned moment. Um, 15 years ago, especially 30 years ago, I didn't realize that my mom was almost always right. So just remember that, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really interesting question. Thank you. That is really... Any, anyone else? Okay, question for Lamptop. Yes, cousin <laughs> Any other, uh, there you go. Ah, well, you can see me on, you can see me on TikTok at your fave lamb chop. Um, and actually I tour performing arts centers. So the next place that I'm going, and I do a legacy show where half the show is me performing with lamb chop. Really, it's me performing with Mallory. And the other half of the show is me curating stories and showing footage that even those of you here have not yet seen of mom. Um, and I, my next show is in uh, Phoenix, and then after that I'm going to Baton Rouge, and I'm not sure where is after that, but you can check on my website, which is MalloryLewisAndLambChop.com. Not creatively named, just easy to remember. I was, I mean, I would help out on the set because I had the same size hand as mom, but I'm an Emmy Award winning writer. I've written 20 books. I'm a television producer. I was perfectly happy being the support structure for my mom because she was such an amazing star. And as a producer, that's all you want. But when she passed, I was pregnant with my son. Um, well, it's my only child, so, but yeah, um, with my son. And I kept getting letters from people saying, we're so sorry about your mom's passing. Is Lamp Chop dead too? Oh. And so I said, slap on the makeup, sister, and let's get out there. <laughs> so I never had to learn Lamp Chop's voice or ventriloquism. Um, I don't know why. It's because I'm real. <laughs> yes. Um, I did have to learn things like turn your microphone on before you go on stage, find the opening to the curtain before they call your name. And if there's a cell phone going off, don't assume it's in the audience, check your pockets. <laughs> um, but, but Lamb Chop. I made it simple for her. Yes, she made it easy for me. 
the questions? That is all the time we have for, uh, <laughs> sorry, Lamb Chop. Uh, you're quite feisty, I didn't realize. I'm, a, I'm getting a little afraid of you. You're cute, but. No, 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 no. I don't bite. I don't have any teeth. <laughs> um, but thank you all so much for coming. Please remember to vote. Um, on your ticket or out in the lobby for the audience award and vote for, us. Vote for Lamb Chop and Mallory and Sherry and Lisa <laughs> and um, tell your people to see the film again tomorrow. The, I, to, uh, Tuesday at the IFC Center at 345. And online until the 26th. So thank you all very much for coming. Thank you.